Stanley Cup cargo ship from Brazil to Miami. Safe move. I'll move my oil ship from Qatar to Spain. That'll put you through two shipping choke points. Here in the Red Sea, where Houthi rebels have been attacking ships, which they say is in retaliation for Israel's attacks on Gaza, and through the Suez Canal. Or you can divert around the Cape of Good Hope, but it's longer and more costly. Eh, I'll risk it and go through the Red Sea anyway. Your sailors demand double pay, and your insurance rate just skyrocketed. Now I move my Sheehan ship to LA. Smooth sailing across the Pacific. I'll move Tesla car parts from China to Germany. That's three choke points if you go this way. Here in the South China Sea, the most contested waterway in the world, with the rebels in the Red Sea, the Suez Canal. All right, let's go around the tip of Africa. You took so long shipping your parts, your client had to shut down production for two weeks. Is there any way to win this game? Well, it's not so hard when the choke points are calm, but groups like the Houthis can take advantage of those weak points and majorly disrupt shipping. It's not just attacks, though. The stuck ship in the Suez Canal was a mess. Low water levels at the Panama Canal cut traffic by more than a third right before Christmas and drove up prices. 